Good morning, everyone. I am filming this this morning early inside the van because it's still dark outside. That's lights on inside my van that you're seeing. And I have important information for you if you are camping in Southwest Arizona with a pet. I hope to save you the heartache and hassle that Bandit and I just had to go through. Shortly after I finished the film on Monday uh, that I just put up where he's playing in the back and looking so cute and everything, about an hour after that, he got a huge thorn in his paw. It was about an inch long and about three quarters of that was stuck between the flesh of his uh, paw in, in up in the soft part and all the way in. I put my gloves on, in fact, two pair, my garden gloves that Sean gave me and my welding gloves. And um, I did my best to try and help him and get that out, but he was having no part of it. And it was just a, a full blown, he, he just was going to, well, he did, he bit through my gloves. So there's no way that I was gonna be able to help him and get that thorn out. I immediately started calling and trying to get in to see a vet that could help us, any veterinarian clinic uh, from Lake Havasu to Kingman. And I'm going to tell you about it. And like I said, I hope this video helps someone else. Okay, there are no veterinarians in Quartzsite, Ehrenberg, or Parker. So if you are camping in this area with pets, you need to know that first and foremost. When this happened, I called six veterinarian clinics in Lake Havasu City and in Kingman, Arizona after being referred to them. I'm gonna look at my list here because I wanna make sure that I don't, I don't make a mistake on what I'm reading or, or who I called. I called Novak Animal Care, Paws and Claws, McGuire, Lang, the Animal Hospital, and the Humane Society, and like I said, a couple of others in, in Kingman. And every one of these people wouldn't would, told me it would be February before they could get me in. Some of them said they don't take non-established clients, period. And um, there is no, em the closest emergency clinics uh, there isn't an, an emergency vet clinic in Havasu or in Yuma, and the closest ones are in Vegas or Phoenix. So I was thinking that I was going to have to drive to Vegas or Phoenix from Quartzsite, Arizona. I have to tell you, one lady that I called, she even laughed and uh, that I was wanting to get in to see a, a, a vet as soon as possible. And I was like, my dog is in pain. Did you really just laugh at me? And she's like, well, you don't understand how busy we get in the winter and we don't, we don't take non-established clients. And I said, yeah, that's like the second or third time I've heard that. Do you have any suggestions? And she's the one that told me that I could, uh, that the closest uh, place I could probably get into would be Vegas or Phoenix. I was beside myself. My dog was in pain and I couldn't help him. And he went between gnawing on his paw. I mean, like like just literally gnawing on it and, and it bleeding um, to him just sleeping and not even raising his head for food or water. And I'm calling all of these clinics in trying to get some help and do something for him. And if you think about it, I, I mean, it, this was like a one inch thorn, thorn and it was barbed on the end of it. And I'll show you a picture where it, th th the dark part of the picture is where the three quarters of an inch was stuck up in his paw. And for you and me, that would be like having a, a pencil stuck like three quarters of an inch in between our toes or our finger. I, I just, I, he was, he was uh, actually for what he was going through, he was actually pretty, pretty good about it. Okay, so I was running out of time because this happened in the afternoon and I was running out of time with the veterinary offices closing and uh, thinking that I just was gonna have to get in my car, like I said, and drive to, to Phoenix or Vegas or risk it overnight and could y'all hear him? He just jumped in, he's been outside. Anyway, or risk it overnight and try calling, start calling Yuma Veterinarian Clinics in or first thing in the morning, knowing that I might not be able to get him in to there, just like I wasn't able to, able to in Havasu or Parker. And I also need to say that I have friends, of course, that would help me out and, and were willing to help me out. But um, you don't, if you haven't, it's like a, 
he turns into Cujo, Bandit does, when he gets afraid, and especially if he's in pain like that, and it, it he turns into like a rabid wolf on prey. He doesn't just bite. He like, I've, I've shared that in other videos. He like goes on the attack, and I just couldn't risk putting anyone uh, in that position because if he bites someone, and depending on the damage and, and what happens from there, um, that, you know, authorities can insist that a dog gets put down. And so I just couldn't take that risk and knew that I needed to get him in to see uh, a professional, a vet clinic, if at all possible. Okay, so I ended up calling, or not calling, I, I texted Donna of uh, Animal Relief Funds of La Paz County. They're known on Facebook as Paws of Parker, and that information will be in the video description or in the pinned comment. But that is who we raised $500 for through the raffle at my meetup. And I hate imposing on someone, especially when I have their number for fundraising or for an event like that, and it's not a social contact or a friend, but I did text her and she was wonderful. She got back to me right away. Thank you, Donna. And thanks again to everyone who contributed to that raffle, both with items and in buying tickets. I was really, really just thrilled with our community for being able to do that for that organization. Okay, so Donna told me to call Circle H Veterinarian Clinic in Blythe, California. And I knew about that clinic, but I had not called them yet because they are a very small clinic and I was calling larger clinics with multiple vets that weren't able to get me in. And so it, it, I just figured they wouldn't be able to. Plus I had gone there a few years ago and had taken my Nonikins when she had a UTI and had had to wait hours. And that's no complaint against them. It's just that that's how busy they are and they are the only vet clinic in, in any of the Southwest down there. So I, I just figured that they would be even more busy and, and I probably would have gotten around to calling them, but it turns out that they are the clinic that takes care of Paws of Parker. And when I called them, they were wonderful and they said that they always try to get people in and that they service all of Blythe, Quartzsite, Parker, and Ehrenberg, La Paz County and Blythe basically. And uh, they were just, they were great. And they have added a new veterinarian. So there's two vets there now. And they told me to come in at one o'clock the next day. And it was a surgery day for that clinic and they were still willing to see me and bend it. And so I was so grateful for that. Dr. Montgomery is on vacation this week, and so I got to see Dr. Solano, and I'm so glad I did. I just love her. She is a great veterinarian and had a great bedside manner and was just so kind, and she took time with us, and she understood what we were dealing with as far as Bandit's potential attacks and me not wanting to have him sedated, and so she had me put on my gloves. I put on my welding gloves, and she went and got a blanket, and she put it over him. It was a thick blanket and she showed me how to hold him and everything. And man, she had, she lifted up his leg and he only tried to bite me once. And I was soothing him and everything like she told me and, and holding him. And she spread his paw apart and she got that out and, uh, and then checked to make sure that nothing was left in it and that it wasn't going to get infected or festered up or anything. And we were in and out of there in that room like lickety split. I am so proud of Bandit. He did so good. And uh, she was, she put a blanket over him and I put my welding gloves on and just comforted him, comforted him and held him down. And she got that thing out and it didn't look very big, but it was big in his paw, let me tell you. And only a little bitty bit was sticking out. And it, once again, my friend Dennis drove us here. And uh, anyway, crisis over. Whew. And she gave me some ideas on working with him and helpful tips for uh, the future as far as that are specific to him. And I'm not going to share them because what, what works for him might not work for somebody else. And I just recommend that you check with your vet and uh, see what they say. But Dr. Solano at Circle H Veterinarian Clinic in Blythe, California, that information will be in the video description and in the pinned comment if possible and I can't recommend them highly enough, And uh, but they are really booked out, but they really will also work with you, obviously, and I'm, I'm grateful for that.
I have to also say that I am so proud of Bandit. He didn't he didn't yip or yelp or carry on. It, it just went so much smoother than I could have imagined. And, and I had felt like, okay, I, I went in being this big drama queen. But if anybody has ever seen him on the attack, and some of my friends have, um, it, you would understand my concern. And, and I'm just so glad that it went so smoothly. Oh, and I also have to tell you, since this is a vlog, that I started my day off that day, that morning, because I was so rattled about Bandit, that, and I was camped in California, and I forgot that it is a time zone change in Arizona, and I missed an early morning hair appointment, and I felt so bad. If you ever are in Parker, and you need a hairstylist, I can't recommend Holly highly enough. I've been going to her for years when I'm in the area, and she was very gracious about me missing my appointment, but I really did feel bad about that. Sorry, Holly. Since I missed my hair appointment, I decided to go to Running Man for a shower. <laughs> That was a yummy treat. After we got through at the veterinarian clinic, we went and had a late lunch by the Colorado River. And so that was a, a nice ending to a what had been kind of a stressful day. And in the middle of all of that, I got a text from a friend of mine that invited, they were changing camps and they invited me to come camp with them. And that's where I am now. And you'll have to wait till next week to see who and what that is. And especially what I'm up to, we're going to go do something really fun today and I'm excited about that and I landed in camp with them just in time for a nice chili dinner uh not chili as in cold but chili beef dinner <laughs> last night and I really appreciated them it, it was a it was a perfect way to end the day and I am very blessed by a lot of wonderful people in my life but please keep in mind, if you need veterinary care in the Southwest Arizona, it can be get it can get pretty precarious. So stay tuned for the video next week to see what I'm up to with my friends while I'm here. And please follow me on social media, Patreon, and be sure you're subscribed to the channel and ring the bell so you don't miss any of the upcoming fun. Keep on keeping on, everybody. Coco, we'll see you down the road.